Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, January the 16th. It is MLK Day, which means we have a full NBA slate starting from 1 o'clock to running all throughout the night until the Houston game at 10.30 Eastern Time. So it should be a fun day filled with basketball, fun afternoon. Let's go ahead and get started, as always, if you enjoy the videos. Appreciate it for the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Bit of a rough weekend in terms of the, the props. Hopefully, we can... Have some success success today. It was a good weekend for DFS with NFL both days. But today, starting with um, NBA, six picks today for props. First one we're looking at is going with the hot hand who's been on fire as of late all season, but pretty much at least over the last couple of months, and that's been Julius Randle. Love the over 37.5 points and rebounds. He's been crashing the glass every single game. 15 rebounds last game, 16 and 3 straight before that. Uh, coming off of 42 points scored last game against the Pistons. It's another great matchup against the Toronto Raptors, uh, a team that he's played a bunch of times throughout his career. He's faced them twice this year, and he had 30 plus points scored in both of them. 32 last game, 32 11, and then 30 and 13 before that. It's just uh, Raptors struggling this year. They don't have much rim protection. They start small um, at center. So Randall should be able to have success on the boards, and I continue to expect him to um, continue to fill it up with the points. Second prop we're looking at is going with a guy that's been kind of down as of late. We're getting a decent number on his over points because of, if you look at his last couple of games, taking Giannis over 31.5 points. It's a fabulous matchup against the Pacers. He put up 50 last time he faced him. He has had a couple of games off, so I'm sure... That whatever was bothering him, whatever was having him score under 10 points twice in his last three in some good matchups, might be behind him. He's, he's probable. So in this type of matchup, it's one where if he's fully rested, he should just be able to go out and run against the Pacers team. Should be able to have some easy dunks. Um, continue to just get some putbacks, I'd say. The matchup against uh, the Pacers down low. You know, Miles Turner, he's been... Missing last couple of games, he's questionable once again. Uh, if he's even if he's in there, Giannis will probably get him him into foul trouble pretty early, and then he's gonna have to deal with the likes of like Isaiah Jackson and uh, Jalen Smith. People just that won't be able to match up with Giannis' speed. So I'm taking the over 31 and a half. I know people will probably be scared of it, but the it's pr favored on sportsbooks to hit. The matchup is great, and I gotta assume that he's healthy now that he's. Most likely off the injury report, he's probable, so at least he's not not expected to miss the game. Going over to another point scored prop. Now, he did let us down last game, but that's led to his number being down a little bit more, and that's CJ McCollum. 24.5, so it looks like Ingram will not return on this uh, road trip, which is said he would. That was the plan. So he's already been ruled out, which means McCollum is going to hopefully bounce back from a 19-point effort against the Pistons. Yeah, he was, I'll give him that. He's been so good uh, in the games that Ingram and Zion have missed. You can't expect him to go crazy every single game. But he's still going to be taking the most shots on the team. He's still going to be playing heavy minutes. It should be a close game. The matchup against uh, the Cavs, you know, the guard matchup is fine. Like Mitchell and Garland, if he has one of those two guys matched up against him, not worried about it from a defensive standpoint. He's been having a great season shooting from the outside. Probably expecting a... Maybe even take 24 shots today, and he can get to the free throw line as well. That's another one I'm looking at, taking CJ McCollum's points. Next up, we're going back over to points, rebounds, and assists. And going over to Charlotte, I mean, they had a great first half last game against uh, against the Celtics, and they kind of faltered in the second half. They only scored 40 points in the second half after scoring 62 in the first half. But I'm still looking to go back to uh, Mason Plumley. Uh, we could have looked at his points, rebounds, and assists, unless they happen to take it off. We'll go back to his points and rebounds. It's at 23 and a half. It's one that he's been so good at hitting this year, especially since Kelly Oubre's missed. Last game, he had 16 boards, just 9 points, so probably sold by like 1 point if he took his 23 and a half, but he played 32 minutes. Uh, he can give you one or two or even up to like four assists per game has been typically his max. He's had some over five and six. But the points and rebounds have been a pretty much a staple for him. 
You know, 16 rebounds against the Celtics, 15 against the Raptors. He had 7 against the Raptors before that, then 13, 15, 10, 14, 10. Basically a double-double machine, and a lot of his shots are right at the basket. So I'm going back to him, taking the over on his points. And rebounds today, it is um, you know, a spot where they're back. I mean, they're in Charlotte at home, so i got to assume that it stays close enough for them to play full minutes. For our fifth prop, we are going over to some Miami pieces. Uh, it looks like Tyler Hero is Tyler Hero's off the injury report, so he should be back today. And without him, it's been a, a spot where Bam's been able to score more and shoot more and have some more usage. Gabe Vincent's gone off the last couple of games. Butler's been disappointing the last few. But I think you could look to like an under on Bam or an under on Jimmy Butler just with Tyler Hero coming back and you know, we know how much he likes to shoot. So I'm taking the under 31.5 points and rebounds on Bam Adebayo. You could look to his under rebounds if you wanted to as well as he hasn't had more than 8 rebounds against the Hawks in his last 5 matchups. You know, some of those he has scored pretty well. But I still think that with Hero coming back, with Butler there, a lot of the, a lot of the season where they haven't had their big three healthy, and Bam is probably going to go back to being the number three scoring option behind those two. Just assume that Butler, he's been kind of an enigma all year. You never know when he's going to, well, first you never know when he's going to play, and then you don't know if he's going to be aggressive in those games. But it's kind of a little bit of a gut feel on taking the under on Bam. When you're having a high usage player come back, and Gabe Vincent, you expect him to continue firing with the way that he's been hot. And then for the final prop, looking at a Suns piece just because they're so banged up. And I'm taking the over 17.5 points, rebounds, and assist on Torrey Craig. Uh, it's a spot where the Grizzlies play fast. There's probably going to be a good amount of points scored. Uh, the Suns are just very thin on bodies, on role pieces, and getting guys playing big minutes because they just don't have too many options. So he's a guy that will play over 30 in close games. He'll be able to uh, he's had some good rebounding games he's had some decent scoring games the assist he had three last game typically will be in that one to three range sometimes zero but the fact that you know one assist would be a push and he has shown the ability to give you multiple assists a game i like that better than just the points and rebounds but i think both look decent and that's it for this video we're looking over 37 and a half points and rebounds for julius randall over 31 and a half points scored for Giannis. over 24 and a half points for cj mccollum 23.5 points and rebounds for Mason Plumley, under 31.5 points and rebounds for Bam, and over 17.5 PRA for Tory Craig. Thank you for watching. Best of luck tonight. Leave any other questions in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time.